I'm back. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I know, I know, I know, I know. I think it was the last video I made. I was like, oh, I'm going to come back. Uh, I'm going to be consistent. Let me tell y'all something. Life has been life-ing, okay, with the extra thing at the end of it, okay? So, real quick. My background is different. I moved out. Yes, I moved out on my own. Um, first time living on my own. I moved out when I went to school, but I had roommates. Um, so I moved out and I've been like trying to do this adulting thing with God's help and God's grace. You know, I'm, I'm here. Um, but a part of life being I wanted to share was... Um, this kind of life altering event like oh my god like all right let me not be dramatic it wasn't life altering but it scared me so boom right so like i said life has been lifing you know um i'm in my 20s still thank god no i'm kidding um shout out to anybody else older but you know i'm in my 20s you know you're learning a lot about yourself you know life in general is kind of like handing everybody I'm gonna keep it G, but hand it everybody some stuff. So, you know, what comes with that, you know, I'm trying to find yourself or you may not, you know, just a little harder on yourself. I, at least for me, I know I'm very hard on myself. So, you know, I've kind of been like not feeling it, you know, like not feeling myself, you know, dating life is not existent. And it's fine because. Trust me, I'm fine with it, okay? But you know, like, life is a little slower for me. You know, where I live, it's not much to do. So, enough is enough. Like, you know, like, boom, I wasn't feeling myself. So, I took it upon myself. I love doing my hair, okay? I am a Leo. And one thing's for sure, two things for certain. We gonna, we gonna get jazzed up. We gonna put our hair, get our hair done. We gonna do, we gonna look good, you know? And for me, like, when my hair is done... All else doesn't matter. Like, forget them feelings. Forget, forget that bill. Like, my hair is done. I feel good. So, right. So, I decided to go ahead and dye my hair black. It's a subtle change because my in the summertime, my hair turns into like a honey brown, which I'm not mad at, but boring. So, um, I decided to go ahead and dye my hair dyed my hair this is what i look like i'm gonna try to put the little video um looks good the nice little cute little ponytail i was feeling myself i did that on like friday right so then friday did my hair i was fine a little tingling when you put it in but my friend had told me like when she dyes her hair black sometimes has got a little tingly so i was like okay i'm fine so friday comes you know but i'm like okay it's itching but maybe Saturday come it'll be fine Saturday comes and my head is itching like itching my hair my head my neck so I was like okay let me try to wash this out I go and I go and wash my hair and it was like a, it was a relief like for like a little bit um you know a lot of dye didn't come out because I washed a lot of the dye out when I originally originally dyed it so you know I was feeling a little bit of relief but it just wasn't the itching wasn't stopping so then of course the more you itch the more you, your skin irritates and stuff like that so I started to notice like swelling on my ear and the back of my neck so I'm like okay this is definitely from the dye because I didn't do anything else different so I started taking Benadryl I started taking um the Benadryl um, the liquid release ones, um, you know, cause usually those were the best and I still wasn't getting any, like seeing any changes. So I was just like icing my head at this point, my head, my neck, everything was itchy. And I started to notice like the side of my ne neck was swollen and I started to notice like the side of my head was swollen. So I'm like, it wasn't nothing like crazy though. It was swollen, but it was like nothing crazy. And I was around my friends. Like I was just chilling in the house. So I was around my friends. And I was like, look, y'all, like, do my, does my face look crazy? Does my face look crazy? And they were like, no, you don't look crazy. God bless their heart. Because looking back, I look crazy. <laughs> so um, I iced my neck, I iced my head that Sunday. And the swelling would go down. It wasn't nothing crazy. So I'm like, all right, if I, if I ice and I do the Benadryl, I should be good, right? Wrong. 
I wake up Monday with my eye swollen almost shut. So at this point, not only is my eye swollen, my neck is swollen. I can't even put my hand around my neck. My ears are swollen. My head was on fire. Like my scalp was on fire. And then literally my face was swollen. So like right here, like right in my temple area, everything was swollen. So now I'm panicking because now I know this is something. Like it's, it's escalating at this point, right? So boom, I go to urgent care that morning when I woke up. And they gave me... A steroid for it and some drops for my eye i take i go home i take the medication that they gave me and i want to say maybe like a half hour to an hour later my my head was huge my face was huge i looked like the hunchback in notre dame no exaggeration okay i could be dramatic sometimes but no exaggeration i look crazy so I take the medication. I call my mama like, mama, I don't know. I don't think this is right. Like, I, I something is going on. So, I was like, I think I'm going to just cut my hair. Because before I went to urgent care, <clears throat> sorry, I'm like getting over a little cold in my throat. So, before I went to urgent care, I took a shower. And mind you, at this point, I still had my hair. So, I... Was it when I was in the shower, a little bit of the water got like on the back of my neck. You know, like when you're you showering, your hair get kind of wet. And when I tell you the way that it burnt was something crazy, like I almost beat on myself, like no exaggeration. So I, once I took the medication and I called my mom and told her this medication wasn't working, I was like, mom, I think I need to shave my head. Of course, my mom was like, don't shave your head. You know, like it's a mom and hair, like. Don't cut your hair. Don't cut your hair. Don't do I don't think you should do it. I think you should wait to let the medication really do its thing. And I'm like, no, mom, I, I, I need you to understand the pain that I'm feeling is like, it's nothing regular. So for me, I have a high tolerance for pain. So if I'm telling you like, no, this is unbearable, like it, it's there, it's at that point. So I go and get me some clippers and I shave my hair off. Like... I'm bald. Now, mind you, back in 2019, I did the big chop. I was going to record that journey, but it ended up not even, like, going the way that I really wanted to. So, you know, cutting my hair wasn't the problem. I just never had my hair cut this low. Like, when I tell you I got, like, a, a fade all around, I got a fade all around. I did have a fade all around. Like, I got a, I got a wave brush. I'll be brushing my hair because once I cut my, my hair... I realize my hair grows in different directions, so now I got my Azu rag. Like, yeah, I'm rocking out with this. But so I shave my head. My friend comes over to help me. My good girl, hey girl, she comes and helps me shave the back of my head. Now when she came over, to, I kind of like kept her like updated because she what she saw me over the weekend. Like she saw from Friday when my when I got my hair done. She saw like over the weekend, like Saturday, Sunday. So she was so she knew like what was going on. So I had sent her a picture. Um I sent her a picture early that morning before I went to urgent care. So by the time she had came to me to, to help me cut my hair off later that night, she looked at me, she was like, mm -mm, girl, I think you need to go. Because at this point my eye was full and shut. She was like, mm, I think you need to go to ER. I don't like going to the ER. This is probably the second time I ever had to go to the ER in my life, thank God. But I don't, unless I'm dying, I'm not going to the ER. Because they is, <laughs> that's another another conversation. So I go to the ER. Everybody looking at me crazy. Long story short. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, hold on. I should have. I got to pace myself. Hold on. Long story short, I go to the ER and um, they ended up giving me the same, one of the same medications that the, the urgent care gave me. The only difference was they gave me an IV with all this other stuff that definitely, I will say, definitely helped um, slow down the swelling and like it, it just didn't get any worse. Like it wasn't 100% better obviously, but my head wasn't getting any bigger because like I said, even though I, was taking, I took the medication that the doctor had gave me at urgent care, my head was still getting more swollen um, as the day went on. So I got an IV 
got all that stuff taken care of and um you know I, I basically just spent the week recovering and thank god i'm back to normal it's been a, a little over a week and this is how i look but yes i am caillou under this wig okay i am bald and you know what it's not even that bad you know again i don't really have like no super uh attachment to my hair so it really didn't mean too too much you know i mean obviously your hair like wigs can get old quick so you know that part's gonna be missed but i'm i'm going to rock my hair short that's when i did the big chop i didn't cut my hair even and um so i wasn't able to like wear the wear and it's cute in it's short short phase so i'm about to oh i'm about to i'm about to make this my moment okay but i said all that to say this is the hair dye that i use i know I should have known by this. But yeah. This is the hair dye I use, Revlon. It's ammonia free. <coughs> <coughs> um, yeah. I don't know if y'all wanna just look out for it, just stay away from it. I don't know if it's just this particular one because the week before I dyed my hair with that one, my friend dyed her hair black. And I did a little allergy test on my skin because I had dyed my hair before and it was like itchy. That's why when it started itching me, I didn't think nothing too much of it because I dyed my hair before and it, was, it itched me. Um, but she used Dark and Lovely and I did the skin test with her box and I didn't re react because if I would have reacted, I would have never even tried to, to dye my hair. Um, so I thought by getting the ammonia free, it would help me with my little itching spell, whatever that, that I had the first time that I ever dyed my hair, which was years ago. So, um, I Googled it and they were saying that there's an ingredient called PPD that is an allergen that they put, um, that most people are allergic to, that they put in, um, hair dyes and black and brown dyes have a higher concentration of it. So, I don't know if, you know, anybody has any prior allergies, super allergic, super sensitive, but... Be careful. My whole scalp was inflamed when I shaved my hair off. My whole scalp was inflamed, bumps. Excuse me. I have some like scabs from the irritation on my scalp that are starting to go away now, a week later. Thank God. My hair, my head is itchy. Like imagine when you shave and it itches. Like that's basically what my head feels like 24 seven. And that's probably like the most frustrating thing, especially with wigs because I don't want to be sitting at work like, them, them folks don't know what I'm doing. Like, you know? So, that's probably, like, the only downside of having a baldy right now. Um, but let me tell you something. Getting in the shower, having that, that water run down on my on my head. <sighs> Taking this wig off when you come home. Like, it's so many perks to it. And to be honest, the whole time I was making jokes. Like, I wasn't, like, I was sad because, you know, in the moment when you're looking at yourself look so unrecognizable it's kind of like well what the heck you know like am i gonna go back to normal because like, in the moment it's like is it gonna go down am i gonna go back to normal i mean obviously it's a, it's an allergy so of course it's gonna go down but just looking so drastically different was kind of scary <laughs> Not gonna lie, but I just wanted to bring awareness to it. Um, because if I would have known that, I probably wouldn't have dyed my hair. So, I definitely encourage anybody who wants to dye their hair to do the allergy test with any, any product that you're gonna use in a safe spot. Um, because when I tell you that was scary, it was so scary. The pain, like the um, so one side of my face that swelled, swelled up really bad. The pressure, like you know, once I started taking the medication. And I was like recovering the pressure that I was experiencing behind my eye. The eye, this is the eye that closed, swollen shut. Um, the pressure that I was having in this part of my face was unbearable. And you can't really take pain meds on steroids. That's what they give you to treat it. So it's kind of like, it's super uncomfortable. Like imagine like a migraine in your face and in your head. Um, my head was swollen. Like my whole scalp was swollen. Like it was bad. It was bad. It was just it wasn't an experience that I would wish on my worst enemy like that John it it was bad so again I'm just bringing awareness to it I'll insert some pictures 
if I haven't already, I'll insert some pictures just so you guys can get a visual, like a visual of what happened. Um, definitely just be careful, y'all. And get the box where they where you identify with. Okay, I should have got the brown girl box. Because again, a whole nother topic for a whole nother day, if we gonna be completely honest. But yeah, y'all, I got a baldy. I got a baldy. So y'all, y'all be careful. And then this hair is my Meek Brazilian hair. I did a review on Meek Brazilian um a while ago. And I still have that hair. Actually, it's right here. I actually have this hair, that hair still. It was a lot of bundles, but I don't know if y'all remember. I was wild and I had like five bundles. But two years later, and she's still here. These are some crimps I put in it. So you know I'm switching these wigs in and out, honey. Okay, you ain't stopping nothing. So this is me Brazilian. I could do a review on this hair. I've had this hair for a while as well. Um, I obviously don't wear it that much because blonde hair, very loud, very noticeable. My life is very chill. So, um, but now I'm about to start wearing this wig because I'm not about to beat up that one. <laughs> Y'all gonna get these uh this platinum blonde, okay? But um, I can do a video on a review review in this hair. I can do a video on review in that hair. I mean, I got time now because this is all I'm going to be doing with my hair until it grows into a cute little shortcut. Like I'm thinking Nia Long. Like I want to, I want a shortcut, but I don't want to look old. And my head type big, so we're going to see. But that's the goal in my head, and I'm working out, so you know I'm trying to, you know, so. I'm going to keep y'all updated, and I promise I really am, because now that I have this setup, it's easier to record. I can leave my stuff out. I could do a little tour of my place once I clean her up. Like, we locked in now. So get ready, okay? So don't forget to tune into my next videos, because I'm going to try. <laughs> I ain't about to hype it. I ain't finna gas it. I'm going to really try to be consistent, but you know... I would appreciate it if y'all just passed it along, especially this video at least, pass this along because this was no joke. And again, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. So at least let them know that this is out there. You know, people who are super sensitive, um, who have a lot of allergies, awareness because that was not fun. But thanks again for watching. Well, thanks again. Thanks for watching. And we locked in. And that's that on that. <laughs>